on. Listen, we're going to have to go above the things that's going on on this earth right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. So my sisters, um, talking about our, our theme today, amen, is just encouraging you, amen, that you will um, honor God in everything that you do. Amen. And God has just dropped in my spirit as you honor him, as you seek his face, as you love on him. Amen. I need to let you know today that he got you. Amen. 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 He's going to do a work in your life. Amen. He's going to do a work in your life. He's going to do a work in your ministry. He's going to do a work in your business. Amen. So I want to encourage you today to get before the Lord like you have never done before in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Somebody. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, God's going to call you out of your comfort zone. God is calling his people forth. Amen. And I don't know if many of you, listen, y'all, y'all know how I do already. Listen, I'm already sweating. I'm in a hot box in here. <laughs> my God. Listen, God has dropped a word in my spirit um, this week and I dropped it on my YouTube channel. Amen. Amen. He let us know. He said, listen, you have been anointed and appointed to take Goliath out. Y'all, listen, he said, you've been anointed and appointed to take Goliath out. And if y'all haven't seen that word, I want to encourage you to do so. Amen. Because many of us grew up um, fighting. And I'm not just talking about physically fighting, but sometimes you had to fight with your mind. Amen. And sometimes you had to fight physically. Amen. <laughs> listen, but God reminded me of David. Amen. How David was out there attending to his father's sheep, you guys. And he had to fight the lion. And he had to fight the bear. Come on now, somebody. And so when he came to his brothers, when he took, you know, when his father told him to go check on his brothers, when he went to go check on his brothers, and he see his brothers over there trembling, amen, he see them over there shaking at the knees, come on now, somebody, he see them really going through, amen, because they scared of Goliath, Goliath over there talking a whole lot of noise, you hear me today? Goliath over there talking a whole lot of noise, but David comes in, amen, David been trained by God, David been trained in the field. Listen, and so so when he see Goliath, he's like, who is this uncircumcised Philistine? But listen, that's defying my, our God. Amen. And so David was like, he was trained. He was ready. Amen. And so the the, the, the giant that was roaring and, and talking all that noise, David wasn't afraid. David was able to stand flat footed. Amen. And he knew because he knew his God was with him. Amen. He knew that God was with him. God had his back. Do y'all hear me today? Because God had already trained him in the field, amen. And so God, David was just transitioning from the field. Listen, now he's going to have to fight over here in God's army. Come on out, somebody. So I don't know why I went there in the name of the Lord Jesus, but I'm just trying to let my sisters know today, hallelujah, that God has need of you, amen. And as we seek the face of God and as we cry out unto the Lord our God, I'm here today to let you know that he's going to do greater works in you, amen. He's going to use you, amen. When man didn't want to use you, I'm here to listen, I'm here today to tell you that God's going to use you. Amen. He got need of you. Amen. The, the the ones that was all suited up in the army. Amen. That was over there trembling. Amen. Listen, David didn't have none of that. Amen. David had God. He had faith in his heavenly father. And he knew without a shadow of doubt that if God was with me when I was in the field. Amen. Fighting that bear. Amen. If God was with me in the field when I had to fight the lion and to save my, my father's sheep. Amen. That God going to be with me now. Amen. Come on out, somebody. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. So I'm telling you, I'm telling you, my sister, God is doing something great. He's doing something powerful. Amen. And he, he listen, he got five. He got, yes, yes, my sister, I see you. He got five smooth stones. Amen. And listen, he had five. And the five reminds me of the number favor, right? Uh, reminds me of favor. Five represents favor. Amen. And listen, but it only took one. Listen, it only took, listen, y'all better catch this. It only took one smooth stone, amen? It, and it wasn't just a stone that took Goliath out, amen? Listen, that stone aimed directly where it needs to aim, amen? And, and Goliath was out. But I trust and believe that it was the faith that David had. God was backing him up because he had faith in God. And, and, and what I know about God is that faith is what pleases him. Do y'all hear me today? When you have faith in your Lord, God, amen? Faith pleases God, amen? And so whatever you face it, amen, you got to know that if you have faith in the great I am, the one that's all sufficient and all powerful, you need to know without a shadow of doubt that he got your back. And when he got your back, you better come on out, somebody. Y'all, I'm not here for that today. Listen, I'm not. 
I'm not here except for that today. Listen, I get on my YouTube with my YouTube family. It's a whole nother vibe. So come on in with me for those of you that's friends on Women of Unity. Listen, y'all come on in with me today. Because y'all already know. Y'all already know. Lord, I see you. Yes, I know. Jesus got my back. Come on now, somebody. I see you. The Lord is with us. We have the advantage. That's the key right there. We have the advantage because we have the Lord, our God. Do you hear me today? We have the most high God. Come on now, somebody. We got him. And when you got him, he you need to know today that he got your back. Amen. He said, if you abide in me, I abide in you. So my sister, do you abide in him? All you got to do is abide in him today. Abide in him and he will abide in you. Amen. And so when David went to go face this giant, amen, listen, listen, he already knew. He was trusting, not in his side, because when you looked at David, they said he was nothing but like a teenage boy, right? But here is Goliath, a nine-foot giant. Come on out, somebody. And all the other soldiers over there, listen, they got, they all armored up with man armor. Y'all come on out, somebody. They armored up with man armor, amen, but they over there trembling, amen. And this is why God said to me, he said, I'm going to use my people, amen. Listen, those that God's going to use, they're going to speak up, amen, They because they have a real relationship with the Lord our God. Do you hear me? They've been tested, tried, and approved in the name of Jesus, and God says that he's going to bring us forth in this season in the name of the Lord Jesus, y'all. Listen, listen, I'm just here to listen. It's prayer time. It's prayer time. But yes, come on now, my sisters. Y'all better go and give God some glory. Amen. I, I say that right now. Amen. Listen, God is going to use his people. Y'all, this old has been on the back end. Amen. Listen, God said, I listen, listen, I'm just sharing with y'all what he if you go to my YouTube channel and you watch the um and you watch the, the what I talked about with David and Goliath, amen. God says. Amen. That you've been anointed and appointed to take a light out. You will see. Amen. You will see what God has said. Amen. But he said, I'm bringing you from the back. Amen. I'm bringing you to the forefront in the name of the Lord Jesus, because you got some people that's in the front. Amen. But they've been trembling. Amen. They've been afraid to talk. Oh, y'all don't want to hear me today in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. But God said, you listen, I tried you. Amen. You've been tested. Come on out, somebody. I've had you in the field. Amen. I've taken you through. Amen. Hallelujah. You had nobody but to depend on but God. Amen. You had nobody to, to, to depend on but God. Come on out, somebody. He taught you. Amen. And you're wondering why you've been in the field so long. You've been wondering why you feel like you've been in a furry, fur, uh, fiery furnace so long. Listen, but I'm here today to let you know, and I've been sharing it with those on my YouTube channel, that God is about to bring you out of the fire in the name of the Lord Jesus. Do you hear me? Amen. He just wanted to make sure that you don't do him like the others did. Oh, my God. He just want to make sure you don't do them like the others did. Amen. When they brought them through, when he brought them through. Amen. Come on now, somebody. Hallelujah. They forgot very quickly. But he said, those that I'm bringing through this time, listen, you ain't going to forget very quickly because <laughs> it's been a hard road. Lord, you like, Lord, if you get me through this time, listen, listen, if you, if you bring me through this time, listen, I ain't going back. I don't care what the world do. I don't care what they say. God, I got my eyes on you. I'm focused. God, hey, and he going to bring you forward. In the name of the Lord Jesus, y'all. Come on, y'all. Y'all have any prayer requests? Y'all better go on and put it down. Because today I am on fire. Amen. I'm, I'm I'm just ready for the Lord. Amen. To do some greater work. Amen. He's stepping us out. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I see you, my sister. You say the Lord is with us. Amen. We have the advantage. Amen. I see you say in this season. Hallelujah. And to God be all the glory. Yes, to God be the glory. Listen, those that he's bringing out in this season, amen, listen, listen, you're going to give God the glory, amen, listen, you ain't trying to go back in the fiery furnace, <laughs> listen, I'm going to just keep it real with you, you ain't trying to go back in the fiery furnace, amen, God has tested you, has tried you, amen, in fact, he's dropping in my spirit right now, the book of Job, amen, he says, I know the way that you've taken, when I have tried you, you shall come forth as gold, amen. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Father God. When I have tried you, you shall come forth as gold. Somebody needs to go on and praise God right there in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen, somebody. Amen. Amen. I hope my sisters are able to catch this uh, live with me on YouTube, Women of Unity. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. I see you, Amy. God bless you. Listen, Joe ain't, listen, 
can't forget. You can't forget. Amen. Amen, Erica. You cannot forget what God has done in and through you. Amen. You've been tried, tested, and proven. And the, listen, you got the, how they say, you got the sticker to prove it. Amen. Listen, you got the scars to prove this thing. Come on out, somebody. Y'all better praise them in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And so I praise God. I thank God. And so this is why he's really sharing with me this month to encourage the women. Amen. That all that you do and all that you are about. Amen. Listen, honor God, worship him. Amen. And, and give him glory because he's going to move in your life. Amen. He's already moving. Amen. He's already moving. Do y'all hear me? Amen. When I share the word that God is about to breathe on you, I believe that those that caught that word, you can see God moving. Amen. And when I said that, shared that word, for those of you that have been following me on YouTube, you can see, you can already see what God is doing, what God is doing. Amen. It was a word. And I know that those that caught it, amen, God is breathing on you. Amen. And I know that it don't seem like, it don't seem like much, but if you can look back, and start looking at the things and how God is bringing you through and how he's adding to you daily. Amen. You will give God some glory right there. Amen. Because he got a plan. He says, I know the thoughts that I think toward you and they thoughts of peace and not of evil and to give you an expected end. Amen. And so where you at today, my sister, listen, this is not your expected end. God got something greater for you. Amen. He just been testing you. He's just been trying you. Amen. He's been developing you. Amen. He's been strengthening you. Amen. To make sure. Amen. This time that when he bring you forth, how will you ain't going back? Amen. You won't be a force to be reckoned with in the spiritual realm in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. You won't be a force to be reckoned with. Amen. Because God, listen, he recruits. He constantly recruiting, but he ain't recruiting. Oh my God, can I say this, God? Amen. Listen, he ain't recruiting, y'all. Listen, Lord, have mercy. I'm trying to see if he will let me say this. But he ain't recruiting wimps, y'all. I'm just telling you, I, I got to keep it real. Listen, he, you, listen he, that's why he's bringing people that can fight Goliath. I'm just going to keep it real with you. <laughs> listen, I'm, he's bringing people, amen, that been in the field. Amen. Because, listen, they had to stare death in the face. Amen. They had to stare some things. Listen, y'all had to go through some stuff. Y'all feel me today. Amen. And, and God is saying, you, this is why you had to grow up this way. This is why you had to go through this. Amen. And you didn't understand why. But I pray that God will begin to open up your eyes if you don't see why yet. Amen. Because he's going to use you. Oh, my God. I'm trying not to go there with y'all. Come on. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, amen, bless you, amen. I see you breathe on me, Lord. Listen, breathe on your business. I pray today that God breathe on your business, amen. And those I am here under divine assignment to serve. Yes, God. Yes. Yes, God. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus, Father God, that you breathe, Father God. God, breathe. You know, I was I was thinking about God breathe today, and, and um, I, I was writing a post today, my sisters, and... um. And, and and God has just said to me, he said, I already begin to breathe. He says, I, I'm already breathing. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay, God. So I had to watch my language because he was already breathing. Do you hear me? His breath had already went forth. Amen. His breath had already went forth. Amen. And if you go back and you just begin to look and just gradually what God is doing. Amen. He's, he's not just going to make us like instant at, you know, he can do anything he wants to do instantly. But sometimes he allow you to see if you begin to take a moment, you can see the gradual increase. You can see the, the way he's moving stuff and orchestrating stuff and moving people out of your life. Amen. And, and like they, they with you or they not. Amen. God is doing some stuff. Y'all listen, this is prayer time. This is not time for me to go in there, but let's come on. Come on. Is there any prayer requests today? So I'm going to read the scripture um, for today. Amen. <laughs> I'm going to read the scripture. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your name. Give God some praise. Y'all, y'all better go and give God some glory in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. And I want to tell somebody this, this before we go into prayer and the scripture. I'm coming from the book of uh, 2 Colossians chapter 3, verse 16 and 18. All right. That's the scripture I'm going to read into your hearing. But I just want to let somebody know that God has already breathed. He's already moving. Amen. Listen, we're living in the, like, our time is backwards. Amen. We're trying to catch up with, you know, we're moving forward, though. That's what I want to say. I'm just going to say it like that. We're moving forward. And I know that it don't look like it. And the enemy is going to try to cloud your vision. Amen. He's going to try to allow many things to come at you. But you need to remember what God has said. And you stand on his word. Amen. And rise up. And know this, that he's going to take you out of your comfort zone. 
where you, if you in the same place that you were last month, amen, and you haven't developed or anything, listen, go back, get, listen, go to the feet of Jesus even the more, amen, and we all got to continually do that, but I'm here today to say that he's moving, amen, as he see you at the feet of Jesus and you moving forward, amen, you are moving forward, but the enemy would try to tell you that you're not, amen, and it's going to throw everything at you, amen, but you have been equipped and you have been empowered, you have been strengthened, you have been developed in the field, do you hear me today, I can't get off of that for a moment, you've been developed already, God has been developing you, he's been proving you, amen, amen, there's some things, there's some Goliaths that you're going to have to take out, Listen, 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 Goliath, you won't have to take out my 